Uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, the second order derivative and uh, how we can apply it uh, in curve sketching. Um, this video should be watched after the curve sketching part one video where we looked at uh, how the first order derivative uh, features uh, when we do curve sketching. And then in the next video, we're going to start looking at some um, actual examples of uh, how we use um, calculus to do um, curve sketching. So um, in this video, the second order derivative. So given um, that uh, y is a function of x, uh, then... The second order derivative uh, represents uh, what we call concavity, uh, represents uh, concavity. Um, now, concavity of uh, a curve is either up or down. Um, we shall um, show you some demonstrations um, here. So, um, if the second order derivative, uh, okay, we just use uh, y prime consistently. If the second order derivative is positive, then what it means is that the the graph is going to be concave up. Uh, so the graph is concave up now a graph that is concave up uh, is uh, shaped a bit like the smiley face okay um, so this curve is uh, concave up um, actually um, a curve which is uh, not a straight line uh, always has a concave and a convex side. Um, here, the concave and convex sides are always opposite to each other. So in this case, for instance, uh, this is the concave side of this graph. And so this is the convex side. But since they're always opposite each other, we just focus on the concave side and then we know the other side is going to, going to be convex. So for this type of curve, we simply say it's concave up. And then, of course, the other case is going to be the case where the graph is concave down. This graph um, can be like this or we can actually split it in two. Um, so this bit is concave up, decreasing, if you remember what we did in the first, uh, the other video. And this one is concave up, but this one is increasing. So for both of them, the second order derivative is positive because it's concave up. Okay. But for the first one, the first order derivative is going to be negative because it's decreasing. For the second uh, bit, the first order derivative is also going to be positive. Um, this whole segment, concave up, second order derivative is positive, concave up decreasing this side increasing this side there's a stationary point here okay so that is a uh, concave up and uh, if the second order derivative is negative uh, then uh, the graph is concave down so the graph is going to be concave down. So concave down uh, is going to be easily remembered. 
is uh, if you like the frowning face so that is going to be your concave um, down okay um, so again we can split this in two first bit is concave down <clears throat> increasing just cut it in half second bead is concave down decreasing <clears throat> so this one is concave down increasing which means the which means the the first order derivative here is going to be positive this one is concave down so this is concave down so this is negative uh, decreasing so even the first order derivative is uh, uh, zero okay so so that is concave up and concave down this is just going to help us to remember what we're talking about so concave up got your smiley face concave down got your frowny face um now um so a graph may have uh, two segments so actually let's look uh, at an example similar to what we looked at in uh, part one of this um, video series we looked at a graph like this one so if uh, this is a uh, this is b c d and e okay so in terms of the first order derivative we say that this is increasing so first order derivative is positive this is decreasing first order derivative is negative this is still decreasing first order derivative is negative and that is increasing we're now going to look at this in terms of second order derivative so concavity okay so let's uh, trace that one in orange Let's start with uh, the smiley bits. So first of all, um, this section, this whole section is smiley up to about there. So that whole section there is smiley. So that means this whole section here, the second order derivative is positive so that's concave up and then this whole section here up to about there is frowny so that's going to be concave down okay so y double prime is negative there okay then this bit here is half of a smiley why right, this bit here is half of a frowny so um here between um this point and c we uh, have the second order derivative positive then the second order derivative negative here now um the points where the graph changes concavity we have got three of them here so I've got concave down here then around here it changes to concave up then at c it changes to concave down mm -hmm then at d onwards it becomes concave up 
So these points where the graph changes concavity are called inflection points. In fact, uh, this is the uh, proper definition of uh, an inflection point. In uh, the first video, we mentioned uh, an inflection point or we mentioned that a stationary point may be an inflection point but uh, the uh, the accurate the definition of an inflection point is a point where the graph changes concavity so let's write that one so a point where the curve changes concavity is called an inflection point and the two spellings of uh, inflection point both correct changes concavity is called uh, an inflection point so we can either spell it with uh, an x or we can spell it with uh, a ct inflection point Um, so in our graph here, uh, let's uh, label these ones. We've got A, B, C, D, E. So let's uh, call these ones uh, F and G. So F, C and G are examples of uh, inflection points. Um, at an inflection point, the second order derivative is always going to be zero at an inflection point. Um, y double prime is always going to be zero. So at a point where the graph changes concavity, uh, the second order derivative is zero. The other way of looking at an inflection point uh, or, or rather, let's just put it like this again. Uh, at an inflection point, um, the um, the um, tangent of the graph cuts through the graph. The tangent uh, cuts through the graph. So you will uh, remember <clears throat> that uh, the tangent generally does uh, not cut through the graph, but just uh, time touches a graph at one point. But at an in inflection point, uh, yes, of course, the graph cuts through the the tangent cuts through the graph. Um, two more things to mention about. Uh, a, uh, an inflection point is that uh, inflection points may be stationary or non-stationary okay inflection points may be stationary or not um, if they are stationary it means both the second order derivative and the first order derivative is zero. So let's just uh, do examples here. So stationary inflection points look a bit like this. So if you have the graph either doing this type of thing or that type of thing, then um, this point here is a stationary inflection point of this one here so notice that uh, the tangent of course is just going to cut through the graph so at an inflection point both second order derivative is zero and first order derivative is zero because the tangent is horizontal so second order derivative is zero and first order derivative is also zero Okay, so that is an stationary inflection point. Um, <clears throat> then the uh, non-stationary inflection point 
is going to look unstationary. Um, so if you if you have got a, a, a sine curve type of uh, situation, okay, or corrugated ion, if you like, um, then you're going to have lots of uh, um, non-stationary inflection points here. So for instance, um, you take this bit of the curve, it looks like a frowny, while this bit here, let me use a different color, while um, so this bit this side up to here is like a smiley and then again this bit up to there is like a frowny and uh, then this bit here is like a smiley so um, all the these points here are inflection points However, they are not stationary because the graph is not horizontal here. So if you've got a stationary inflection point, it's an inflection point and it's horizontal. Uh, this is a bit like a smiley concave up, like a bit like a frowny concave down, it's like a bit like frowny concave down. So definitely concavity changes here, but the graph is horizontal. Here, the concavity changes, but the graph is not horizontal. If we uh, try to do a um, a tangent here, so the tangent is uh, going to be, it's going to cut through the curve. So it's definitely an inflection point, but it is not um, stationary. All right, so that is the second order derivative and how we can apply it in curve uh, sketching okay so yeah thanks for watching please uh, do subscribe uh, so that uh, you can uh, get notified when you post new material thank you